travelers, welcome back. In case you're new here, I'm Valerie, I'm a local in Barcelona. So subscribe to my channel if you want to know all the cool local things to do while in Barcelona. Today I want to take you to Sitges, which is in the south of the Mediterranean coast, 40 kilometers away from Barcelona. So why is Sitges famous for? Well, first of all, because it is a beautiful old village on the shore. So its economy is based on tourism, especially LGTB tourism. And second, because you can come here, doesn't matter if it is winter, summer, or spring, fall, there's always something to do. So first of all, how to get there, this is super easy. You can take the metro, the bus, or the taxi to go to Sanz Station, for example. This is the biggest train station in Barcelona, or you can also go to Passeis de Gracia or Estación de Francia. The three of them actually go to Sitges and once you are there, you can buy the tickets in the machines. You have to buy a ticket to Sitges. Price at the moment I'm recording this video is 4 euro 60 cents, one way. And the train that you have to catch is the R2 south directions to San Vicente de Calders or Villanova La Feltru. So what to do in Sitges? Well, first of all, get lost in the old city narrow streets. This is really beautiful. Don't miss Plaza de la Vila, for example, the Fifth Avenue. We also have a Fifth Avenue in Sitges. And if you have time, go and visit Palau Maricel. And also Carrer de Embosque Street, where the old city walls used to be. And of course, don't forget to visit St. Bartolomeu Church. Walk along the promenade, of course, have an ice cream, especially in the summer. And going to the beach, uh, I don't know, actually, guys, because the beaches and sitges are super narrow and super crowded, unless you come in the winter. I would recommend you to visit other beaches. If you're lucky enough at the moment you are watching this video, you'll see here a link to the best beaches in Barcelona. If not, you'll have to wait, travelers. Trip duration is just 45 minutes and you can spend a half day in Sitges. So what can you actually do near Sitges if you want to stay longer? Well, I would recommend you to do two things. If you have the chance to have a car, if you, you can rent a car, of course, you can go to the nearby Calas, which are tiny, beautiful beaches. Or you can visit Villa Franca del Penedes, this super famous region for good Catalan wine. It's awesome, you have incredible landscape and amazing wine tastings. Finally, what to eat in Sitges? Well, guys, I have 
tons of recommendations of really good local restaurants for tapas, paella, etc. So in case you want to know in more detail what to do if you want to follow an itinerary and if you want to know where exactly are these restaurants that I like, I really suggest you to go to the description down below and download my citrus guide. Well, travelers, hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. If you want to know other day trips to do in Barcelona, I upload videos every week. So see you next week, travelers.